Hello friends. I am Shailendra Singh and today I am going to tell you how to deploy database release updates on Oracle database. So I am showing you example by deploying release update 19.15 on Oracle database 19c. So you can see the prerequisite Apache utility version. 12.2.0.1.29 or later to apply this patch and uh, you have to download following from support.oracle.com this patch 6880884 for this Apache utility version and uh, the release update of 19.15 Patch number double three eight zero six one five two. So you have to download these two files and I have downloaded these two files and uh, transferred these files on the server. You can see the and uh, existing release update is 19.14 of the 19c database so I'm going to show you from the v dollar version so I will Show you from the V dollar version. Select a star from V dollar version. Consider okay. Oracle Enterprise 19C and uh, release update of 19.14 is currently stored on this server. Oracle Home Opus folder and uh, yeah, remove the previous Opus version. and uh, unzip this opatch version which is required to install this release update of 19.15 and removing previously installed opatch version Now I am unzipping the patch file. In the patch directory. So you can see the patch and it has been completed. And I will show you the version of this patch. which is required to install this release update of the database here you can see the 12.2.0.1.29 and uh, now I will move to the Oracle patch directory 
where I have downloaded the required release update. You know, guys, uh, from 18C onwards, Oracle is now releasing updates in the release update phase. It was releasing in patch set mode, so from 18C onwards, it releases on every quarter, and uh, that is Oracle release updates. So, I'm keeping this patch. And see there. I'm keeping the patch number, patch file, E3380. So it's one point. Uh, 4GB the size of the zip file so it might take some time to unzip all the files the part with the USR and CCS bin to relink the Oracle boundaries and uh, I'm also adding the Oracle home opatch in the existing path to execute the opatch utility. And uh, I have moved in the patch set directory and uh, yeah, you can see the opatch failed with the error code 73. Following active executables are used by opatch processes. So it's database up and running there. That's why opatch has been failed. So I will shut down the Oracle database. And uh, in fact, uh, this server is of Oracle Enterprise Cloud Control 13C. So Oracle Management Server is running on this server so I have to stop so I made the batch file stop OMS which will first stop the Oracle management server and uh, then it will stop the Oracle database so as you know stopping and starting Oracle management server it takes a lot of time to complete the process of stopping or starting the Oracle management. So it may take some time to stop the Oracle management server. Let's wait while it's stopping. Yeah, you can see the Oracle management server successfully stopped and shut down Oracle started. So it will now shutting down the database has been closed, dismounted. And uh, Oracle instance shut down complete now. So I will move into the 
patch directory and uh, apply patch or patch apply so now patch apply has been started there you can see is the local system ready for patching yes or no please shut down oracle instance running out of this oracle home on the local system it's showing oracle home now it's i have responded with the y yes and uh, applying the entrum patch set number double three eight zero six one five two to the oracle home slash u01 slash app slash product slash 19.3 slash db home one has been started and it is applying the Patch set on required components, lot of components to be passed, and uh, you can see it's now patching component Oracle RDVMS dot RFS RSF rather, and once this patching is done. There is a utility data patch which is a data patch is a new tool that enables automation of post patch SQL actions for the RDBMS patches data patch resides in the opatch directory and uh, from database release 12 C onwards Oracle has introduced this utility prior to Oracle 12 C such patches required manual intervention to complete the post patch SQL instructions after restarting the database so Oracle has made this easy for database administrators you have to just execute that data patch command and uh, once it is executed it will complete all the post patch SQL actions in the database so I will show you once this patching is completed Oracle data DBMS is now being passed, and uh, this is a large patch set file over there. So it will take some time to patch each and every required component in this activity. It's now patching very quickly. You can see there are a lot of components are being patched by this opatch utility. And uh, once this is completed, then I will start the data patch utility to complete the patching of this release update of 19.15 in the Oracle database 19c in the Linux server Patching component oracle.jdk. You can see there, Opatch succeeded. So I will execute this data patch utility. So it's required.
require database in running mode oracle not available i will restart the database and after that i will execute this data patch utility so it will complete the SQL batching of our business in one command you can see that in SQL plus version 19.15 is showing there because then we have been patched with this release update 19.15 Now database has been opened and uh, I will start the data patch. Yeah, you can see the connecting to database OK, gathering database and profile, bootstrapping registry and package to current version done. As I told you that this data patch utility which Oracle introduced from 12C onwards has reduced lot of manual intervention and commands run by the Oracle database administrator after the applying patches so you can see we are applying apply from 19.14 release update to 19.15 release update so again it takes a lot of time to apply the patches in this well So once this activity is done, I will show you again with the good other version what is the current release update. So it's installing the patches, you can see there. This activity has been now completed. Data patch. SQL patching tool complete on April 26. Return time it's showing patch double three eight zero six one five to apply success. So now I will show you from the with other version what is the current patch set is there rather release update is there you can see Oracle database 19c and version 19.15 thank you for watching